Yep, you saw me. There you go, guys. That's a fish. There you go, guys. That's unreal! Oh, this is such an awesome looking fish. Oh, yeah! All right, guys, check that out. What's up everyone, Scott the Char Hammer here and I got another review video for you guys. Now when I asked in the winter what my viewers wanted me to do more of, across the board the most popular answer was reviews. So today I've got a review for the new waders I got. I got the Caddis waders and wading boots. Before we get into the review, if you guys are new to the channel or if you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there, notify bell next to it so you're going to be the first to see all the great content that's going to come from this channel. And when you subscribe to the channel, if your account setting is on public and I can read your name, I'll give you a shout out in the video I record over the weekend. So the waders I was using for years were these Rustic Ridge PVC waders and they were the boot foot waders and I quickly got too large for these. That's my fault, that's not the waders fault. But they weren't very breathable, they weren't comfortable, I didn't have a lot of mobility and that was before the size issue became a problem. So this time shopping for some new waders because I'm going to be doing a lot more river fishing and a lot more surf fishing this coming year so I needed some waders that work. I went with the Caddis system waders that have the stocking foot and got some wading boots to go with them. So the reason I went with these waders is they have the reinforced knee. Probably the only thing I'm going to be doing moving around a lot where I go fishing is I'm going to be kneeling down to either pick something up or if I need to grab something. I'm not going to be so much sitting. There were other waders that had a reinforced seat, but I didn't think I really needed that. I generally don't sit down when I'm in my waders, but I wanted waders that were comfortable enough that I could sit down in. Also because when I'm out fishing, I have you know a lot of things I need on hand that I could just grab quickly, you know, don't have to reach for a pocket, don't have to go back for my uh, uh, tackle box to go get. I wanted something that had this pouch in the front that had just, you know, something that I could grab stuff, hold stuff in, like my batteries, my phone, things like that. It worked really great. Um, the only problem I had is this pouch right here isn't waterproof. I had my battery bag and my phone in this pouch suspecting it to be waterproof and I had a water bottle that I was keeping in here and at one point the water bottle leaked and some of the water actually got into this zipper pouch and it didn't damage my phone but my battery bag got wet. So I had to dry those batteries out and made sure they worked. So the size I went with, I'm six foot three and 315 pounds. I'm a large stout man and even though uh, I would normally get that size in waders. I only went with the extra large. I didn't go with the extra large with the stout size with it because I really didn't feel like I needed it. These things are really comfortable as is. And they were breathable. I wore these things for three hours the last time I used them. Didn't sweat a bit. Also obviously didn't get wet. And the boots themselves, I went with a good pair of boots because I'm gonna be fishing a lot of areas that have rocks and a lot of sandy areas. So I want something that would resist the abrasion and give me a good grip. So that's what the soles look like. And yeah, I went out on the, uh, I went out in the bay clamming. The last time I went out, I wore these waders and wore these boots. And with these boots, it was the fastest I was able to get out on the rocks. So often I have a problem because I have, you know, a history of back issues. I have bad knees. I have to take it slow getting out on the rocks. A lot of times it's because I can't really get a good grip. No matter what sort of like boots or shoes I wear, I'm slipping around the rocks, especially when I get to the ones that have been in the water longer and they had algae growing on them. They're a lot slicker. These things had phenomenal grip. I It was the quickest I got out onto the, out onto the, bay to do some clamming. You know, I I'm not going to wear these things when I go jetty fishing, but for clamming, that helped a lot. They also have these weep holes in the side to allow water to drain out, and they actually, I mean, they kept these things, these weren't heavy the entire time I was fishing. These didn't fill up with water. And they also cleaned real easily. The only thing that worried me was with the sort of mesh uh, material that's around the boot that I would get sand stuck in there and get hard to get out but even with the mist function on a hose gun it got out just fine it didn't uh, it didn't uh, get in there it didn't stay in there and also being in salt water these uh, these metal bits on the boots didn't rust obviously I hosed them off when I got home but there were times where I <laughs> hosed down metal parts when I was saltwater fishing and they still rusted these things so far just fine I'm going to start using these things in the river with uh, salmon steelhead season picking up in my area in the next couple weeks, so I'll let you know how these work there. But I'm just going to suit up real quick and show you how I'm easily able to move around and how these things feel. So as you can see how they fit, I mean, this thing is really lightweight. I mean, it barely feels like I'm wearing waders at all. That's probably my favorite thing about it. 
But as you can see, it comes with a weighting belt and it has a pull string up here that tightens around the chest. So it helps to keep water from getting into the waders. So if, you know, that happens <laughs> to happen to you, the waders won't fill up with water and you'll drown. But obviously the biggest thing I was looking for with a set of waders, not just the way they, not just how big they were and if they fit me, but mobility. I wanted to be able to move around in waders and I can go down into deep squat in these things comfortable. I don't feel them stressing in any way. I don't feel like my body's getting pinched in any way. I can bring my knees up high. I can go down to a knee on either leg. And I mean, it's, it's comfortable. It allows me to move freely. There's nothing restricting my motion. And like I said, with the boots, the way these things fit and the way they have these guards over the boot on the waders themselves, they didn't fill up with sand. They didn't overfill with water. These were, I mean, as far as like compared to those, so much more comfortable, so much more worth it. Now I know my body, I've lived in it 35 years, I know I'm not going to get any bigger than this, but I mean, the way these things fit, you know, I probably won't need to get new waders if I lose weight, these things will still fit just as good, it'll just be a little tighter, or I can make, I can make them a little tighter around the waist. Total time it takes to get in and out of the waders, it takes, you know, maybe maximum of five minutes to suit up and then take everything off but i mean one of the problems i had with the boot foot waders it took forever to get those boots off because they were so constrictive around the ankle trying to get my foot you know tilted and then out of it but these ones i mean obviously with the boot with the separate boots so much easier to get in and out so much more comfortable so much more mobility which i know for a lot of fishermen is going to be a big deal if you can move around in your waders not just to keep you dry but if you can freely move might actually try running in these things. The waders also came with two repair kits with instructions, so God forbid something happens to the waders and I have to fix them. You know, they give you that option too, two times to do that. Hoping that doesn't mean they expect them to rip twice, but just in case, thank you. So overall, I'd give the whole wader system, you know, I'd, I'd give the boots five stars. Those things were super comfortable and I am super picky about my shoes. I'm one of those guys who's not afraid to spend you know, a lot of money on his shoes for comfortability. The waders themselves, I give a four and a half star rating because like I said, one of the disappointing things was that a uh, zipper pouch wasn't waterproof. If that thing was waterproof, it'd be five stars. So overall, you know, wader system gets, you know, like four and three quarter star waiting for the, the waders and the boots. But let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. Let me know if you guys have the same Caddis waders or if you guys have different ones. I want to know what you guys think and if you guys have any suggestions to pass along. Also, if you guys haven't done so already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down there, notify bell next to it, so you're going to be the first to see all the great content that's going to come from this channel. There's going to be more reviews coming, and like I said already, when you subscribe to the channel, if your account setting is on public and I could read your name, I'll give you a shout out in the video I record over the weekend. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, tips up, tight lines, and have fun fishing.